As a child, I kind of loved the Cat in the Hat movie. It was fast paced, colorful, and the humor felt pretty edgy, so I always felt like a bad boy watching it. Uh, growing up and having access to the internet though, I learned that this movie is deeply hated by most of the world. But, but what about the game based on the movie based on the book? Is it as bad as the movie? Or is it seen as bad as the movie? Because I, I just, I still recently saw it and I still kind of love the movie. Let's take a look under the hood! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, IGN gave it a 6 out of 10, but I think we gotta look at some Amazon reviews to see what society says about it. Uh, okay game, 3 out of 5. Child played this game maybe twice, but haven't seen her play it again. Alright, 5 out of 5, Satan Spawn. Michael Myers stars in the 2003 film, uh, Cat in the Hat. That's it. No other details, okay. Cat in the Hat is a 2.5D platformer where you pretty much run from left to right until you reach the end of the level. On the way there, you fight some strange looking enemies, uh, collect scattered collectibles, and enjoy some pretty banging tunes. I I'ma be for real here, I kinda love the game. Sure, it, it definitely isn't the best looking game, uh, yeah. but the gameplay is solid and responsive and fun, like a lot of fun. With that being said, it is very much on the simplistic side. You got a simple jump, there's zip lines to ride, little jumpy tornado things to jump on. You can do this short glide with your umbrella, it covers no ground. You also use said umbrella to fight off enemies, but the way you do this is by shooting them with these bubbles, and every single enemy besides the boss fights are like a one hit kill. There's really no challenge at all. You hit an enemy with a bubble, he gets trapped inside the bubble, you then use that bubble to shoot another enemy and they both just die. Sometimes you can throw an enemy bubble into the machine that turns them into these bubble with pure explosive goops inside and while these also kill enemies uh they also destroy these stronger roadblocks throughout the level so that's like a little fun way to use the bubbles i guess or whatever i don't ever want to say the word bubble again throughout the levels you find these magic things i guess that release from the cat's box and are causing things to be wacky and goofy oh boy you also need to find four keys around the level and the way you get them is that thing one and thing two usually have them somewhere in the background and you gotta hit them with a bubble so they drop the key when you find all four you open this door to the secret room there's one secret room in every single level but more on that later you also got these movie clip collectible things there's four scattered per level and and with these you unlock this gallery it doesn't come with movie clips it doesn't come with trailers it doesn't come with anything but yeah and yeah, and yeah. It's really, really easy to collect everything in this game. I was able to 100% it in less than five hours. And for the ending, you get this little secret ending cutscene that's like, wow, you unlocked everything. Wow, you fixed everything, go outside. It's, it's a kid's game, you're not getting shit for this. Uh, but I like the gameplay, especially compared to some of the atrocities I've played in the past few months. It also helps that the level design is actually good question mark the way you choose a level is you see this grown-ass man hiding one of these pieces of furniture then that furniture becomes a horrific nightmare and you got a blue skidoo we can too behind him and you got your level i actually think it leads to some pretty creative level designs although it's annoying always having to choose the level that he jumps into you have this hub world but you don't get the freedom to actually choose one of the worlds you have to have enough magic for the world that you're going to go into or it needs to be the one that what's his name we'll call him mark zuckerberg because that's just the first name that popped into my head you have to follow mark zuckerberg into his level that he jumped into you can't choose another level uh, but it's all right because like i said the level designs they're all right uh sure the furnace is still a fire theme level and the freezer is like the ice theme level uh, but then you got levels like like the first level you go into this plant and it's just like jungle like level that looks pretty cool uh then you when you go into the vinyl player it's a music theme level uh the car engine is a post-apocalyptic factory style level the attic is like a spooky horror theme level the tub and the washing machine are both water theme levels but they're pretty solid with the the tub being one of my more favorite games what with the tub being one of my more favorite levels design wise uh the gameplay in these levels never changes at all like you're just platforming collecting same thing it's no mini games no challenges but it's okay because the game is like i said less than five maybe four hours long so it doesn't really overstay its welcome at all on top of all that the game has like a secret room in each level where you need to outrun something maybe it's like a big gear like in the clock level or maybe rising water like in the in the in the in the washing machine level uh, while avoiding a bunch of obstacles and sometimes these levels are genuinely well designed and feel like a test of your ability and sometimes it's the freezer's bonus level and it this sucks uh, there's three boss fights and they are all the exact same as each other and it's super simplistic and sure you might die a few times i died a few times but it's not like they're super difficult at all 
and they're easily the worst part of the game, but they're also not the worst horse, I guess. Whatever. When you collect everything, you get this bonus level, and, and yeah, it's alright. It's basically just another level, but with less collectibles, because why even give you collectibles when you already finished everything? But, you do get more, uh, gallery photos. Oh, jeez.